Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. I am a duck with a top hat, as you all know, because I, yeah, that's what my channel's name is called. I don't mean to be redundant. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a suspension bridge out of campfires. It's a very simple trick that many people have used. Um, it's actually, I think it actually looks pretty nice. And instead of having to use blocks, it's, it's actually very useful. So yeah, I'll tell you guys what you need to build this bridge. So the materials you're going to need for this are some campfires, um, splash water bottles, spruce trap doors. Well, you, you don't need to have spruce any of these, but you could just have whatever you want uh, for these. I, I really like spruce wood because it's just, it works so well with things like oak wood. See, if like, if there's ever a build that I'm gonna make with oak wood, it's gonna use spruce planks. But uh, this chest here, this is for uh, non-required items. These are just going to be for a more complex uh, suspension bridge that I'm going to show you. In fact, I think you guys should get some stairs and slabs too. I'll get some spruce ones, but don't worry. All right, so let's get building. So let's start building. So the first thing you're gonna want to take note of is the fact that these are supposed to be survival tutorials, but they can be creative tutorials. But just because I believe most people want good builds in their survival worlds, I'm going to do this with the practicality of survival worlds. So let's begin. So the reason why you're going to want these splash water bottles is because you can actually extinguish uh, uh, campfires with these. So that way you don't take damage when you're walking on them, and it actually works for a bridge. So yeah, let's get started here. So. Uh, I've already placed the first campfire down here, so using the bedrock thing, you could just probably see like once you can't reach the ground anymore. Oh gosh, I missed. There we go. Like once you can't reach the ground anymore, it suddenly just for some reason it lets you do this. I don't know why, but it's so useful. Probably because a lot of hello. I'd like hello. Fortnite. Okay, there we go. All right. So, this is what you're going to want to do all the way across the, uh, the little area that you want to build your bridge. So, uh, let me just do this. But, you could just, uh, if you're in creative mode, just, just, just do this. It's a lot fast. Oh, gosh. You can also do crouch thing. Oh, gosh. Ew. Uh, so, yeah. Let's just go across here. Almost there. And, we're done. So, now, just got to get a whole bunch of splash potions. Now, the amount of campfires that you're going to use is the amount of, uh, is the amount of splash water balls that you're going to need. Now for, I know this works for both Java and, whoa, you can make these different directions? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, I did not know that. Okay, so you could make these in different directions actually. So, what, that's actually fairly useful. Hmm, I did not know that. No wonder, I, I knew something about the bridge just looks strange. Okay, looks strange I mean. All right, there we go. That's all right. Yes. Okay. So you just want to, you know, just a uh, splash a good old amount. Okay. You really got to get these pinpoint. So let's just do that really quickly. And the reason why I want to uh, do all of this with you guys here is because it it it's kind of weird to do. All right. So now let's move on to the next step. And that is placing trap doors under these uh, coal parts of the campfires. Now, you might want to use a bit of scaffolding for this. However, I do not make my tutorials in survival because it's just not fun that way. Because, you know, it just requires so much effort. And I am but a young schoolboy who does not like doing things because I work too much at school. Okay, so now that we have the trap doors down, now when you look at it from a side angle, it actually looks like it's just a sort of long plank. And that's what we're going to fix in a couple of seconds here. So let's move on to the next step. I know this is going to be the transition, and I didn't use it for the last step, but that's too bad. All right, so now we're going to be moving on to the next step. And the focus of this step is going to be spruce or your fence gates, your fences, and these are some op optional blocks that I've chosen, but just for the ends here, so you could do. So this is what I'm going to do here. 
but I think it just looks nice. So right here, you just want to place some blocks, have uh, good old fences right here, and now you can just place fence gates all the way across here. However, you will require blocks under these first. Unfortunately, it is just how bedrock works. I don't know if it's the same for Java. I don't think it is. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've played Java, just because I love Bedrock Edition so much. It, it's very nostalgic for me. Dear, oh my goodness. Now, thankfully, fence gates do not require blocks to be beneath them to stay put, so we can still have this work while uh, making a nice-looking bridge. So let's just do this on the other side, and I'll be right back when I do. All right, now that we've got that finished, let's take a good old look at it. So you're gonna notice immediately that you can just jump right over these, but it protects you from falling off the edge. And so if you're not paying attention, you could just walk side to side. Although it may not look like the best thing, it still looks pretty neat. I think it would fit very well in a you know rustic setting. You know, uh, I, I think it would preferably be better for shorter distances however for longer distances that is what i'm going to get into right now with the uh, more complex bridge that looks like it just fits more of the lanky style so let me uh get that out all right so now to begin the more complex side of things so this one oops. so in this design we're just going to be adding a couple things to each side of here and the materials that you could use for this I am just using these for myself. Um, these would be white concrete powder, oak logs, oak wood, oak buttons, uh, trap doors. Uh, I don't know about fences and fence gates, but you could still use those either way. And I did forget a very crucial part here. I was going to use slabs and, oop, why did I put that? Stairs and slabs, there we go. So, let's, uh, let's start here. So the first thing that I would like to do here is I would like to build a nice long path along this area here. Uh, I think it just adds more width to the bridge and you know, it just makes it look a bit more sturdy. Granted, there is this place under here, but we're not using this for realism now, are we? Okay, so now that we have completed this part of the bridge, what we can do is go find the center of our build. So, we have, I'm just going to count the fence gates, not including these uh, poles here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. So we have 22, and I'm sorry for counting, it's just, it's, yeah. Okay, so, so that would mean that our two middles would be 11, so, unless I'm just bad at math. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so that would be that one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yep. So these are our two middles right here. So you could just open the trap doors. <laughs> Not the trap doors. I mean the uh, fence gates here, just so that you could remember where these things are. And I love this function too, where they just open in the direction that you're facing. I didn't notice that until a little while ago. So what I'm going to do is add some pillars um, on the outside of these out uh, of these center pieces here. So let's. That. let's just shift click there we go okay now we can do this for all of these uh parts here you can actually space some more out if you want to in fact that's actually what i'm going to do uh you might want to just build down uh into the ground if you can see the sides of some blocks it just makes it look more firm and stable and just just gives it a better look i think granted perfection isn't always about or quality of something isn't always about its perfection, it's about its uniqueness. However, I, for some reason, just... No, I'm not saying I'm against uniqueness. It's just hard for me to... What on earth happened here? I guess we can just, uh... You know, just, uh... What can I get rid of here? Nothing. We're just not gonna... We're just not gonna get rid of anything, okay? So, another thing that you could do is build another beam somewhere around three blocks down from there. So let's do that very quickly. Let's just go across here. Very cool, very cool. And you guys are going to see what the trap door... Trap... I just cannot speak English. You guys are going to see what the trap doors here are for in a second. 
So you can already see that this is starting to look more like a bridge. Oh, I forgot a key thing here. You want to break these blocks here and just place a couple, a uh, solid, solid wooden blocks here. And you can add some oak wood on top just so that you don't walk over it. Granted, it is a little terrible when you have to walk on through it, but you know, it's fine. So, you can place some fences on the top of these, and it, and if you want to, I actually like to place buttons around here, oak ones, just because, you know, I think it looks pretty nice. So, now that we have done this step, let's go back down underneath the bridge, and let's place our trapdoors. So, the trapdoors, I usually place over where the wooden beams cross each other. I think it just looks better than having these two wooden angled blocks just intercept each other. It just... It just doesn't really fit my eye, unless there's a certain build that really looks like it needs it. Then I'll be like, okay, yeah, th I could use that. So anyway, if there's any curved areas around this bridge, what you can do is get some wood, and then you can place your stairs. I am just doing this because, personally, I think it just makes it a lot easier to do. And it also just adds some more, uh, as I've said before, it makes the bridge just look like it has more stability and more reason to be used. So, I'm going to do this on the other side very quickly, so please excuse me while I do that. Alright, so now that I have added in the little bits here that are a little, little curved, what I'm going to do now is add the trap doors over the places that these beams cross things uh the wood where these beams hit i would like to leave those there just because i personally believe it still kind of just means that uh or there's no stairs there so you know you have a little bit of um a couple of edges here here and there so you know very cool very cool very epic and nice so let's just block all these up all right so now that we've got this shape here, now your bridge doesn't have to be even, as you can obviously see here, this is about maybe two blocks wider than this one, so you don't need to, you know, worry about things like that. Now, as I was saying about curving edges, this is where the stairs and the slabs come in. So anywhere that there's roughness that you think should just not be that rough, you can just fill that in with a couple stairs, you know, add a little bit of, you know, just a... I don't know what it's called, like, ovoid, ovoid shapes in here, here and there. So, you know, just a couple slabs, stairs, you know, just in places that you think they need them. And in places like these, like the center here, I don't know why I'm shifting, um, in places like these, you could just add little designs, you know, uh, just, just a couple of stairs and slabs. So, it's very simple things, uh, it's just, I think... This is going to be very good looking if you build this in a survival world. So, I have added the curves and edges to the places that I think need them. However, you guys can go all out. In fact, instead of having to fill the center here, you guys could probably just do some little cool design. Like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, just some cool design that would fit your guys' taste. But, let's move on to the next step, which is going to be filling in the middle. So let's do that. So we are back here with the materials that we are going to use. I have added a light gray concrete powder, just so that we can add a little bit of more color into this. Because, you know, I don't think only white should be there. Just because, you know, white is kind of bland. So, let's get started here. And you also notice I have added some fences here, just to add a little bit more, uh, you know, design to it. I think it looks fine. But, uh, oop, I don't think I added this in. I am such a, I am a goof. I am a fool. Okay, there we go. Now it's looking spicy and hot. So now what we can do is start by filling in the bottom here. Now, if your lake reaches into water and you also are using concrete like me, you're going to notice that it's going to immediately turn into concrete. Or I mean concrete. Yeah, yeah, you get the point it's going to turn into concrete. So, what I've decided that we will do, we will put things like stone or anything else that just looks or resembles, uh, anything that has the look or resemblance of the, uh, goodness gracious, let me just replace these stairs real quick. There we go, that's looking nice. Okay, 
So you could just replace something that has the resemblance of that block. So since I'm using light gray, I can use things like cobblestone, andesite, uh, stone itself. And you can also add these little, you know, working its way up patterns. Like, it needs to break out a little bit. And that's what I like about some builds. You just have them look like they're trying to spread out. And let's do that for the other side here. This is not a pattern that you have to follow. This is just something that I'd like to do. So let's start placing our concrete powder. Now, once again, just saying, these, these are optional. Oops, sorry. My dogs are going crazy. They're defensive dogs. I don't know if you guys heard that, but if you did, then I apologize. Okay, so there, oh, I guess it's not done. Okay, there we go. So now that we've filled in the bottom here, you can already tell that with the added texture, it looks very nice. And that's what we're going to do up here, but with a little less texture. So now we can just start adding in the white concrete powder. Let me just place some stone there so that doesn't bother us. Oh, same mistake. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Now what I've decided to do is add an extra little, you know, just solid version of the powder. Because, you know, you can't have... A little bit of you, you can have a little bit of salt with a little bit of soft it's like chunky ice cream or chunky peanut butter you know you, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of chunk however i do not like chunky peanut butter i don't i don't know why some people do <coughs> just you know opinion but uh so you can see already that with a little mix of darker colors and just all the contrast but all the it just looks so nice together so let's just uh start going along here so i'm gonna do some extra patterns maybe i can place them so fast that i just nope i cannot okay there we go okay so you can do this on the other side too and that is oh wait no i forgot it's only one block wide now you can do this with multiple widths and that's what i was just going to say if you do multiple widths for this you can in fact have a little thick. Now this could also serve as a dam, and I can also show you guys how to do that. No, that's not a swear, it's just a, like, D, D A M, like that, yeah. So that's just a, you know, water, for people who don't know. And thankfully, due to uh, the new recent updates where you can place, or you can waterlog certain blocks, it's actually very nice to have, so, because old sewers in Minecraft they would just have to have water just, you know, everywhere. Just, but it just wasn't inside the thing. But now, look at what we can do. We can add actual sewers. And it just looks pretty cool. Uh, dams, you know. Very cool. So, you could uh, make this both a suspension bridge and a nice looking wall for water. You could use this on the outside of a city that you're building or just anything in general. But yeah. That's it for this bridge, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Now, I've noticed that a lot of people have been liking my tutorials recently. So, if you guys want any more of these, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, it lets me know that you guys want this. In fact, I've seen a little bit of exponential growth on this channel ever since I did some, you know, bedrock tutorials. So, very thankful for that. But, uh, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you found it useful. Uh, make sure to join my Discord server down in the description. And, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.